Your news on the go. A wild Wednesday turns into a thunderous Thursday. Well, we're waking up to a much calmer and cooler morning after our crews found damage in several spots along Peru Road in Jordan. The wind knocking down large branches onto a car, some also coming down on a house. No injuries reported here at home. A much different story in the Midwest where that same storm system left at least five people dead. This morning, unbelievable footage of the devastation just into the newsroom after a tornado swept through the small town of Greenfield, Iowa. At least 26 tornadoes have torn through six states over the past 24 hours. Shifting to school news and your money. It is right back to the drawing board for the Ithaca City School District one day after the community said no at the polls to a school budget that came with a tax hike, the Board of Education met to regroup. Time is not on the board's side. They only have a few weeks to come up with a new spending plan. This morning, investigators are still trying to get to the bottom of a false report of a woman abducted in Madison County. The sheriff's office was called to Route 13 just north of Chittenango Falls yesterday morning. By the time crews got there, the woman and an unknown number of men had left the area. Everyone involved has been located and questioned. Right now, the Sheriff's Department calling the case unfounded and says more details will be released later on. As we head into the Memorial Day holiday weekend, gas prices are starting to stabilize. AAA says a gallon of gas is 366 in Syracuse, two cents lower than a week ago, and still lower than the state average, which is 369 a gallon. All this comes as President Biden is releasing a million barrels of gasoline from the Northeast Reserve, but it probably won't have a huge impact on prices. The crunch crushed. Let's take you down to the War Memorial for Game 3 of the North Division Finals. While the Syracuse Crunch fought hard, they came up empty-handed. The Cleveland Monsters won the series to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Darn those monsters. <laughs> Let's throw things over to Kate for a last look at your forecast. Well, everything is much quieter than it was last night. We still have some showers around, not a lot, but we have a little bit of rain passing just across 81 in parts of Oswego County. Uh, parts of Baldwinsville again clipped by a little bit of rain and down towards Ithaca and Cortland, some lighter showers moving through. This is the cold front, so if you step outside the door, you may be thinking, I don't know, it still feels kind of warm and humid outside. Yes, it does, but the, once that front gets through here, our temperatures much better today. If you don't like the 90s like we've had the last two days, we have highs in the 70s for you. Well, you're really going to notice the difference in how the air feels today. Our dew point temperatures come down, so that's going to help make things feel more comfortable. So any morning showers will be out of here. We're dry this afternoon. Tomorrow is beautiful. 70s to near 80 degrees. Lots of sunshine, low humidity. Even Saturday's improving. We were really concerned a couple of days ago. Now it looks like a lot of our rain threads going to be later in the day, so you'll still be able to have a good chunk of Saturday to enjoy the Memorial Day weekend. If you're camping up north, you might have some rain issues for you Saturday night into early Sunday morning, but no washouts except for Monday. Monday might be a little bit of one, but we'll keep an eye out for that. Yeah, we'll have to